Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Students were evacuated from the Miller South Dakota High School yesterday following an explosion in the ag workshop. It is still unknown what caused the explosion, but the DCI and emergency officials in Miller are working to figure that out. All students were evacuated quickly and safely to nearby churches. Classes are canceled for the rest of the week. For the week, for sure, it'll be closed. It'll be on a cleanup right now. Um, there's been extensive damage to the egg shop and smoke damage throughout the school. We will continue to update you on this investigation both on air and online as we learn more. Crews in Sioux Falls were kept busy when a car crashed into a home. It happened around 4.30 this morning when emergency crews responded to this incident in the western part of the city. Sioux Falls Police tells Kelloland News that the car caught fire after the crash. The home also caught fire. One person suffered minor injuries. The cause of the crash is under investigation. Firefighters in northwestern Iowa faced cold temperatures as they battled a fire early Wednesday morning. The Dune Fire Department says crews were called to the fire just before 3 a.m. and arriving on scene, they found a train car with wood paneling on it engulfed in flames. Heavy equipment was brought in to unload the wood paneling from the train car. They were moved to a safe distance where they were extinguished or allowed to burn out. Officials say firefighters used 32,000 gallons of water to put out the fire in zero degree temperatures. Well, turning to weather now with meteorologist Scott Munt. Cold again, but we'll warm as we approach the weekend, Scott. Well, we are looking at that warmer air to come in by Saturday, and with it, temperatures may hit the 50s across parts of uh, southeastern Kettleland. We do have that going in our forecast, but in the meantime, it's cold for today. Temperatures will slowly get above zero as we hit the afternoon. Expect numbers into the middle teens in southeastern Kettleland. Northeastern South Dakota, same story, probably lower teens, so a little colder across the northeast. And for central South Dakota, temperatures will eventually hit the mid-20s today. And western Kettleland, a little warmer. Temperatures in the lower 30s for Rapid City. And that will happen with mostly sunny skies. More details on your forecast with Brian coming up. Thanks, Scott. During the pandemic, it has been harder for new parents to connect with resources in the community. For caregivers of children ages 0 to 2, a new playgroup program at the Children's Museum will help them not only play with their kids and interact with others, but also connect with valuable resources in Brookings. And so parents get to come with their children for an hour to come and explore age-appropriate play, be able to learn different types of therapy strategies to build a sense of nurture and engagement and structure with their child. They hope that the program will bring awareness to the different organizations and resources for new parents in the community. A pop-up grocery event hopes to make an impact in the community, aiming to address food insecurity and accessibility in Sioux Falls. Later this month, Kristen Johnson will bring items from her salvage grocery store to the Multicultural Center for the event. I'm really excited. I am always like, hey, let's try it and see how it goes. And I hope that this turns into something that we can do every month. The event is February 16th from 1 to 6 at the Multicultural Center. Smithfield is also donating meat to the event, and South Dakota Urban Indian Health will be hosting a vaccine clinic from 2 to 4. The ninth annual burger battle has come to a close with Chef Lance's on, uh, on Phillips as its victor. Restaurants sold around 1,800 of their Tuscany burger. This is now the second trophy for owner Chef Lance White, who plans on topping this year's performance for the 10th annual Burger Battle next year. Here we are. This, this one, it wasn't even over yet, and I was already thinking, all right, what am I going to do? What am I going to do next year? You know, how do I top this one? 27 restaurants competed for the top spot. Over 35,000 burgers were sold across the establishments. That is a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather today is starting cold, but we do see a little moderation this afternoon, at least Sioux Falls area getting to about 13 or so. You'll see those hourly numbers by noon. Well, at least in the teens there at Pier and also winter 20s in Rapid City. So, yeah, we're below normal, but uh, sunshine at least will help us a little bit. Coldest air will remain in the far northeast as we struggle through the single digits this afternoon. I do think we've got a little temperature bounce back tomorrow morning. Uh, what's interesting here is the wind change. We'll see temperatures maybe even at daybreak uh, quite a bit better. 
but we may have a hard time warming across our Minnesota counties and uh, northeast South Dakota, just given the, the wind change and a little subtle front that moves in. So that kind of restricts the pacing of our warming. But notice how Rapid City, well, in the 30s, but Pine Ridge, Hot Springs could be near 50 tomorrow, and that warmer air is going to quickly slide east on Saturday. We're still going to stick with about 50 for a forecast high in Sioux Falls on Saturday. Of course, we're going to have some wind around to make the temperatures move like that. And then you notice this, the difference when we go to Sunday, we've got another little piece of cold air. So Fargo, you know, down to four degrees for a high. And some of that's going to at least push into northeast South Dakota once again. But that's our temporary setback. And then on Monday, Tuesday, we'll get back on into 40s and 50s once again. Highs today, though, 22 Chamberlain, 25 there winter, 6 degrees in Sisseton. The seven day forecast. Biggest change will be Sioux Falls Friday to Saturday from 16 to 50, then back down to 29, then back up to 47. You get the hint there. There's a lot of movement on temperatures, nighttime lows to afternoon highs. Aberdeen is going to go back and forth too. We're only nine on Friday, but 47 on Saturday, 22 Sunday. So that's uh, kind of the anticipation here is back and forth every day. At least until we stabilize a little bit by day five, six, and seven. And then at that point, it's going to be on the flip side and the warm side of the forecast. Look at all those 50s for Pier. We might extend that. We'll see how uh, the end of next week shapes up. But for now, Rapid City forecasting 57 on Monday. Check out the latest details with our weather update right now online at kettleland.com. And have a great day.